Let's continue on Venn diagram, guys. So Venn diagram is basically a look refer to a circle. Okay, refer to a circle. I want to actually show you here. Refer to a circle as you see, right? So this is like illustration. Okay, illustrating a relationship between uh, sets. Okay, well, um, some of us actually love to see visually things. Okay, not everyone is, um, you know, okay with some just reading or some just writing. We need to see something visually, like video, right? Illustration. In this case, well, he used number system, you know, as this illustration as a circle. And his name is Ben. He's an English mathematician, John Ben. And he invented this. So if I don't mention his name, it's not going to be fair, actually, okay? So, well, U is the universal set, a rectangle, okay? So I want to make sure a rectangle is basically, a rectangle usually represents the entire universal okay and this u whatever the number of element is basically is going to be inside it okay inside whatever element is so i'm going to show you here actually down here if i hope you can see it right so in this case u u is represented as all this number one two three four five six all the way to ten so this all inside here I'm going to make it smaller so I can actually see things nicely here. Okay. Very nice. So, guys, let's take a look here. Can we understand it here? So, 1, well, it's basically, well, if I put down, this is the whole thing is universal set. As you see, I'm going to put down some numbers here. 1, 2, 3, 4. I hope you can see it. Okay, hold on. Okay, you can see it now. So, how does it work, actually? Look. So I have this one, two, three, four. So this set A, one, two, three, four, any order. So I already take one, two, three, four. So the remaining should be somewhere outside. The remaining should be somewhere outside. Maybe five here, six there, seven here, eight here, nine here, 10. Look, that's just outside. So this is a ref representation, okay, of a universal set versus a given set. All right, let's take, let's continue. Band diagram and set operation. Some keyword we need to follow actually in this section, okay. So I'm going to actually work it out on this one. So as you see, universal set, we already know universal set. What is universal set? It is basically a big U, capital letter U, right, okay. And in this case, and we have seen no, we didn't see end. This is the first time we see end. End really means like intersection. Okay. End is like intersection. Or is union. We call it or. When you see or, we're going to add. Okay. So this is the symbol for intersection. This is symbol for union. Okay. Which is referring to or. And intersection is referring to end. Remember, it's just to the point. Okay. Uh, point. P O I N T point intersection. Okay. Now this joint is like independent. Okay. We need to know. We're going to come back to this actually uh, when we discuss that. Joint means is dependent one with another. So independent is basically look, you have, if I have one here, two here, this is set A, this is set B. Well, I refer to a circle, but it doesn't look that much circle, but uh, you know, assume this is a circle. So they are disjoint. Now, if I have another one here, right, and another one here, again, I'm referring to as a circle, okay, and notice that there is something common between them, so this is called independent, this piece is independent, they are sharing the same thing, okay, now, we know what is subset, okay, so we know the subset already, right, uh, there, this is the A and also proper subset, okay, so we learned a couple of videos ago. So we're going to come back to this actually. So I want to make sure that you know how does it look like. And also the equal sets. So equal also, they have to be equal, you know. Let's take a look here. Sorry about that. So you have to have equal. Like set A is equal to set B when, when each element of set A is in set B and exactly same. Okay. So that's equal set. So this is the condition or this is the notation actually as you see for this Venn diagram we will we're going to come back to this again and again and you have to have a clear idea again oh by the way I missed one here complement okay so complement is basically I honest make sure you understand the complement 
component is like not a it's like a frame it's like a frame or not a complement of a complement of a is not a or a not a not or not a that's a complement okay so we can we basically look into all of them actually as you see down here right okay so let's continue here so disjoint here you go so disjoint set a is a disjoint of set b so i want to make sure we understand this so this is my universal set right this is my universal set okay as you see now i'm going to have some numbers on set a okay clearly you see that down here i can make it bigger actually okay all right so that's better so i'm going to have set a i'm going to have two three four and i'm going to have set b five six yeah just this two set is fine so guess what what is happening here so five six is in this one five comma six and two three four two three four is on that one yeah so they are disjoint actually well why is the rest of them the rest of them is actually outside of those two this is called disjoint. They are not joined. There is no common number. Okay, that's a disjoint. Let's go joint one, overlapping one, right? So if you look into here, this one, right? Same thing. I'm gonna draw another one here. Okay. Sorry. All right. That's what I mean. It comes out a little bit weird, but anyway, I got. I hope you got the point. So I'm gonna make this as a four and five four five and i'm going to make this five six five six okay i'll make this up right here okay so what does it really mean it means that b has a five and six this b has a five and six look i'm going to put down six here maybe i use this ink here six okay maybe i do six here If I do six, why is not staying here? Okay, that is going to be fine. So I have a six here. That's lovely. Oh, that is the reason. Okay, so six. And then, okay, five and six. Remember, B has a five and six. Now, A has a four and five. A has a four and five. A has a four and five. So why is the five? That five is here. So this five is here. Also, notice that this five is here. Also, there is a five here also. You see that? There is a five there too. So this is a common in both of them. So this is called intersection. This is called intersection or we just plainly call it joint set, overlapping set, or we call sometimes dependent set okay dependent set when set a and b have a element same element common those elements are in then we call it joint sets let's take a look at proper set so what is proper set proper set is basically if i have a a down here i can make it two three four and b i can make it two three four five six look at here let me see if you understand this one guys so in order to be a proper subset remember in order to be a proper subset we must recall our concept here each element each element in order to be proper subset a and b so it clearly can take a look here on these numbers here a two two three four it's an a inside and b is two three four five six so two three four five six so a is in b inside a b 
and definitely they are not equal. B has more, so therefore this is a proper subset. We learned it earlier. Look at that Venn diagram with the circle. It's the same thing concept. It makes sense, right? Okay. Let's take a look on the next one here. Equal set. Okay, so I'm going to actually have this one here like this. Okay. Equal set. If set A contains exactly the same elements as set B, so well, two, three, four, five, that's a nice enough. B is also two, three, four, five. Okay, so what does it mean? It means a has a 2, 3, 4, 5, so as B has also 2, 3, 4, 5. It is exactly the same. So A is in here and B is also in here. So they are exactly equal, same elements. So it's just a recapping the same thing when you talk about set. Venn diagram is you know, representing with the circle is a similar concept. Okay, let's take a look on the next one. Oh, actually, this is it. So, this is all about Venn diagram. Okay, guys, remember this is very, very important information. We need to get these two prepare for application problem. Okay, so next video I'm going to create on video is very short how to create Venn diagram with two set. How to create Venn diagram with three sets and the reason number of reason how do we name it reason okay so uh, you know hopefully you're gonna get that video very soon thank you